Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to revisit GET request. We have previously saved the user profile now during the sign up. And now once the user sign up, if he goes to the profile, we want to show those details to the user. Uh, so for that, let's go to the profile component. And then here currently the profile component only has some test code that we discussed for different uh, angular examples um, but to retrieve the user profile we actually need a dependency on the user service so let's go ahead and create the dependency private user service Colon user service and you can import that and in the user service component let's go ahead and see what do we have there so in the user service component so far we have all the um, sign up and authentication related logic uh, but we have dependency on the HTTP client, so we'll be able to make get request uh, to retrieve the user profile details. So let's create that method get current user profile. So for this, we don't need any input, we can just call this dot http dot get and the syntax for http get request we can remember that we made a get request in album service so if we go to album service we can see here that we are making an http get request to get all albums so the syntax will be very similar so we can actually copy this and we will also need the header so we can copy actually all this thing to the user service and this method is missing so for now let's copy this, that method as, as well So now we'll be able to make HTTP get request. So the path for that will be different. It will not be album slash all. It will be instead if we go to the user resources in the Swagger Explorer, we see that for getting the current user, the uh, path is actually users slash me. So we just need to do that here. users slash me and what this is going to return is a observable so we can call this method from the profile component as soon as this is initialized we can go here and we can make a call to this dot user service dot get current user profile and it will be an observable so we need to subscribe to that and so in the subscription what it will want us to define what will happen when that subscription is subs successful um, so when the subscription is successful it will actually return as a user so we can go ahead and call this user 
and or we can call this user profile and for that we need to define what happens to that now we would like to save this in this class so we can declare a variable here named user and then the data type for that will be user and this is already imported but if it was not we could import that and now we can actually put this dot user equals to user profile when we get that data and it's actually complaining that the user profile is an object but this dot user is of a specific type but we do know that the service is actually returning a something of the user data type so we can actually typecast this to user and let's go ahead and make sure that we're getting the right details console.log got user profile this dot user now we can go to the browser and we can see when you go to profile and if we open the console we'll see that in the console it says got user profile and inside that we have email address id name profile photo url we should have those details here so profile let's try to sign up with a new user And then if I go to profile, got user profile with all those details. And so now that we have those details, we can actually show those details here. Um, and if we refresh the page, and if we go to again profile, we should have those details. Yes. So every time we go to this component, we're getting those details so let's construct the view for this as usual we're going to use bootstrap card so if we go to bootstrap cards we can look at different example of cards and you can choose the one that we like uh, so for a profile page you can do something like this with an image so we can copy this and in the component we are going to so we have some of this previously written uh, but not really specific uh, to this example so we are going to clean up those And we're going to paste this and we can call here we can first of all this should appear only when the user variable is present so we should do ng if on user and then here we can actually use interpolation to print the user dot name and let's see how it looks 
so the username is coming here and here is a so what other attributes do we have we have name and we have email address so here we can print the email address user dot email address next um we're not using this instead we need something to show the user image so let's go ahead and delete this and then the footer for now i'll just keep the placeholder and then here you can do a img source and you can use the data binding for that to be user dot profile photo url profile photo url So the profile photo URL is coming, uh, profile photo is showing up, but the image is too big. Uh, maybe we want to resize that. So with equals to 200, let's try 200. And if we want, we can also make it look a little bit nicer using uh, bootstrap rounded corner so bootstrap has these different classes for images and if we want we could use this rounded circle let's try that profile so it's appearing in a rounded circle so that's how we can uh, create the profile page for the user and here the profile photo is showing up later we'll implement the functionality so that the user can uh, change the profile photo as well thank you